Right, so I'm going to show you this trap. And the first thing I'm going to say is, this is based on a trap that I've seen before. Now, the bloke who did it, I think his YouTube name is Imaginative Guy. He did a similar trap for a mouse though, where it was a cable tie and his trigger was different. And what he'd done for the trigger, he drilled a hole, put like a small loop of wire through and through the hole he had a peanut kind of like this through the hole so when the animal the mouse chewed the peanut like it would be triggered off well we uh, oh and the the noose was a cable tie so we're going to do the trap but kind of like scale it up and make it more for a squirrel rather than a mouse or something and also I'll try and explain a way you can do this in the woods as well so you're going to need a plank of wood doesn't really matter how wide or thick it is as long as it's going to be able to take a sudden weight on it like a sudden uh, weight smashing down so that doesn't matter but you could replicate in this woods in the woods by using get a big branch and split it down the middle as long as you've got one flat side it should be right uh, so you're going to need a plank, some sort of weight, so I'm just going to use this bottle filled with water, you could use a rock if you're in the woods, trigger stick, and that's how I've done that, so it's going to have to have a square notch in it, and that's to fit over the end, and also I've drilled a hole to tie some paracord, and then you're going to need some normal string, and some sort of stiff wire now I'm just going to use a ready-made snare you could you, you could do this with paracord but it need the loop needs to stand up so you'd either have to somehow stiffen it or do something to it or an ordinary wire would probably do this as long as it was flexible enough to pull right down so like I said that's the, the trigger sticks so you have to get let's just say you know, a little bit wider than your hand. So you ain't got any measurements. I've just done this arrangement so you could stick bait in the fork there or tie it round. As long as it's got a square notch and a hole drilled in it for the end. You are going to need a drill for this. So if our notch is going to go there with a the bait on, we're going to want the squirrel to come along and take the bait. So this noose is going to have to be quite close like about there I reckon so just there we're going to drill a hole right so now we're going to get our noose Hopefully it'll fit through this hole. If not, I'll have to make it slightly bigger. Right. You want this so you could alternatively if it won't that's all right see like that that's how you want it if it didn't stay open like that you could drill the hole to one side and then with the hole there you can have it laying to the side like that but now we've got that there so now you want to get this and tie your weight to it right 
the closer this is the less distance it's got to fall so it should set off quicker and that's got to go there then your snare you're going to want to tie this to the weight as well I'm just going to cut cut a bit of this off because we don't need all this now this one you want to tie to the weight as well Do a close up of that. So the snare is tied to the weight, and so is the trigger stick.